Good morning, brethren. I hope everybody's doing well. This is take four, I believe, of my video um, that I am having difficulty making. So um, for some reason, they end up very long. And because it's there's a lot of scripture for this point that I wanted to bring forth. Um, and after seeking the Lord on this, he's pretty clearly shown me the division between flesh and spirit. And like I said in previous videos, I do not believe that a born-again Christian can be possessed of demons. I believe they can be oppressed. I believe their flesh can, um, spirits in the old man, in the flesh, the, um, the spirits can because it's like it's like water I believe they can come in and out of the old flesh um, but the new creature that's in Christ that's seated in heavenly places uh, when you're born again that new creature that is um, uh, secured in Christ that is sealed in Christ his body um, our bodies are vile according to the apostles our bodies are corruptible According to the apostles, the flesh is what I'm talking about. This is the division between flesh and spirit. The spirit is saved. The flesh, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing, Peter said, that is in my flesh. So we're sown, as it says in 1 Corinthians 15, um, 42, it is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. So we're sown in corruption, and so this could be corruptible. And according to the scriptures, it's very very uh, specific that this corruption must put on incorruption and that's whenever we are changed into the immortality and mortal uh, from um, mortal to immortality from corruptible to incorruptible so we have to be raised resurrection of the dead and in the spirit that has already happened to a born-again believer a born-again believer is sown in a natural body, but is raised a spiritual body. So the the inner man, the apostles, were talking to some people who had been told that the resurrection had already happened, that the rapture had already happened. And they said, no, it hasn't happened. Be comforted. Don't worry. You haven't missed it because they were worried they had missed it. So I want to comfort the brethren who are struggling with their flesh, um, being corrupted or they could feel things happening to them they're being oppressed by the enemy and um, be reassured that your spirit is joined to God's spirit and the last Adam which is Jesus is made was made a quickening spirit the first Adam was made a living soul your mind your will and your emotions but the last Adam is a quickening spirit the first um, is so natural the last is spiritual the second man is the Lord from heaven. And if you're in him, you're in the Lord's body, the body of Christ, one body, one spirit, his Holy Spirit joined to your spirit, because the two become one. That's the spirit and the, um, the, the body, the spirit and faith. These, these are who we are in Christ. It's a body spread over the four corners of the earth. If you're a born again believer by faith on the Lord Jesus Christ, his name um, which is great. Um, if you're in him, you're seated in heavenly places, secure, born again. You cannot be unborn. You can't go back in your mother's womb. Um, in the scriptures and Psalms and throughout the scriptures talks about a womb, like a womb. You're, 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 you're born into an earthen vessel, into bitter waters. When you're born again, living waters come into you that's the living waters that's the spirit of the lord the lord's spirit the spirit of holiness the holy spirit and the fruit of the spirit which is singular is love peace joy kindness goodness long suffering and self-control that fruit is of the lord not of our flesh that's a spiritual fruit that is the lord's he has it it's his it's not ours it becomes ours when the two become one and love of the Lord is agape love. It's different than the world's. The peace is peace between us and God through the Son. And joy everlasting is something that we cannot understand unless we're born again. We have that joy, that inner joy, no matter what's going on. 
in our life, we can still have joy in the Lord. So I just wanted to reassure my brethren who are struggling with spiritual attacks from the enemy, the darkness that we cannot see, but every now and then someone sees like a shadowy thing or, you know, this, our, our battle is not flesh and blood. Our battle is spiritual. It's a um, spiritual wickedness in high places spiritual wickedness that tries to oppress the born-again believer the earth and or the the people of the flesh Egypt which is they go down into Egypt um, that's the flesh in the flesh is no good thing that's why we battle against the flesh the spirit and the flesh battle um, but we know that God's already has victory if you're born again by faith on the Lord and, and uh, the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15 um, it, you're, it's by, by grace you're saved and it's not of yourself it's a gift of God lest any man should boast it's what God did it's what God laid his life down for us he, it's his righteousness not our own for none are righteous no not one I mean, none is good no not one but God is good no one's righteous our righteousness is his filthy rags so he has to count our faith as righteousness so we're in the body of Christ which is one body one spirit the Holy Spirit but because we're all a bunch of different spirits, but it's his spirit, the Lord's spirit that that quickens our body. And then at the end of this chapter, you'll see um, about the flesh, the difference between the flesh and the spirit. I love First Corinthians 15 for this reason. Um, it really clarifies the gospel of Christ, how you're saved, sanctified, how you stand in the presence of the Lord, um, how you're saved. And he sanctifies us by his spirit, the spirit of holiness, the cornerstone. Jesus is the body of Christ that we're taken out of, bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. Um, this is the good news, you know, when we are facing trials and tribulations. This is the good news. We know that he's, he's, uh, he will not lie. He's not like man that he would lie. Um, he's God and he follows through with his promises and the, this is the promise that he will raise us at the last day at the last trump so be encouraged and the, the battles that you're facing um, these are for a short season this is the time that we are um, we are being attacked by the enemy but we can rejoice in the in the completed finished work of God through the son that he is our mediator he is our author and he is the author and protector of our faith. He is um, the mediator, mediator of a better covenant. This is the blood covenant, the blood of Christ for the remission of our sins. We overcome the world by the blood of Christ and by the word of our testimony that Jesus Christ is the Christ, that he is the son of the living God. And he is a living God. So if the flesh is of death, of death, the spirit is living and so he is living in something alive the spirit is living the spirit returns to the giver right the breath of the breath high returns to the giver and since jesus his body is the living body his body is the body that god dwells in in us dwelleth no good thing. It's in the resurrected Christ. Nobody has raised from the dead, not even the Pope, only Jesus. Uh, 2,000 years ago or 1,000 years ago, they're finding out time isn't what we think it is. So, you know, they've deceived and God will judge them. He's the judge and he is just. So don't worry about that. And know that the ravens are the hair, the black hair of God, it says in the scriptures. It talks about his hair is like ravens. So before I didn't like ravens and I always tell them to go in Jesus' name. And they would go like whole flocks of ravens. And if you say, use the name of Jesus, his name is greater than any name in earth. Um, they have to, all creation has to obey Jesus because he's the Lord of, of lords, the King of kings and Lord of, Lord of hosts. He is the, the one that's ruling and reigning over everything, even the darkness. He has vessels of honor and vessels of dishonor. He uses everything. We have free will, so we have to choose to believe. We have to receive that free gift of grace. It's like a gift given to you. You have to receive it. You can't drop it on the floor. A lot of people do. They drop it. They say, no, I'm good. I don't want that gift. 
um, you have to receive the gift. It's a gift. It means you don't didn't work for it. You didn't do anything. You receive the the free gift of grace, God's grace, God's mercy on us. And once you receive it, it's a done deal. You're saved. You're born again, sealed, sealed by the Holy Spirit. Nothing's getting into that temple, which is Christ, which is sitting in heavenly places. And you're sitting in him. Christ in us now, the hope of glory. Um, we will be raised in glory, brothers and sisters, and be encouraged. Don't let the enemy um, take away your faith in your mind. They can't take away your salvation. It's done. Um, what they can do is they can uh, oppress us. They can harm us. They can get in the flesh, in, in, not in the new creature that's in Christ, that resurrected body. But they can mess with saints. and But they can't get all the way in because there's a seal so whatever you're feeling, a lot of it is witchcraft, messing with your mind and your heart, trying to make you afraid in the flesh, because that's the only place they can mess with, because the flesh is dead for the cause of sin, it says in the scriptures. But the, the body of Christ that raised from the dead after he was crucified, buried and raised from the dead, that is the temple, the tabernacle of God that whenever you're in the body of Christ, it's his body, you are in his resurrected body, the son, who comes in the name of the father. Yah, Ahaya is what the natives called him. We're in a family. This is like born into a family. Once you're born in a family, you're born, it's done. You're born into that family. Now, are you the physical family of God now in Israel? Yes, but there's still a division, a battle between the flesh and the spirit all the way to the end of our life. That's how we are covered with darkness in order to be ambassadors for Christ and to pull other people out of darkness because they're sitting in darkness in their flesh. They haven't been born again. And um, old things have passed away and all things have, have um, uh, risen with Christ. So... The problem is you is um, where they can attack you is is they can get a hold of your your faith and and mess with you that way. But if you're strong in the Lord, because it takes time to become strong in the Lord, or if God wants to give you more Holy Spirit to do a certain job, I don't know how that works. It gives everybody a measure of faith. But he gives some more than others, not to elevate them or exalt them above their brethren. I'm not above you. You're not above me. And Jesus is our high priest. He is our, our good shepherd. Um, and uh, he is the author and perfecter of our faith. He's the mediator of a better covenant. Um, and he is the lamb that was slain. Um, he is the lamb that is living, resurrected from that. Um, and we are in him. We'll be raised incorruptible, brothers and sisters. So look forward to that forward to the glory um, the pray for the brethren right now pray for everyone in the body of Christ and their families and the children and the lost sheep um, because many are suffering right now and my heart just goes out to some of these people I'm talking to online and um, that the enemy did God did say there would be trials and tribulations God did say that if they hated him and crucified him who is the heir of everything. In, in the end, they're going to do the same. But here's the great part. God, in the end, is judging them. They're being judged right now harshly. And if you read the Psalms, you'll see there is a judgment for them. And it is coming. And it is just. And their judgment is from the Lord. The Lord returns to judge them. And for their lies, for the deceit, for their sorceries, for all of the wicked things that they're doing to the saints, to God's children. Um, so if you're being harmed in some way and you're a believer, be encouraged. 